Royalty. Hey Empress, hey Empresses. How are y'all doing today? This video is going to be for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node. If you are new here, welcome. Thank you so much for joining me on my channel. Don't forget to subscribe, like, share, and comment, y'all. First things first, I only have one YouTube page, one Instagram page. Don't get scammed. You can only book a personal reading with me using my website, which will be listed down below in the description box. And I am sending out a benefit of peace, love, and light always. Let's begin. Angels, ancestors, spirit guides of the highest white light, please come down and protect me. Please come down and give me clear messages straight from the divine. Archangel Michael, Holy Spirit, please come down and protect me, guide me, and keep me safe. And please come down and protect and guide the viewers that have clicked on this video today. What are the messages today for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node? Aries. All right, Aries. Ooh, so I see you guys could be connecting to a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. So this is you being in your emotions. <laughs> this is you connecting to your emotions and your feelings, Aries. You could be deep in it. Oh, wow. You guys have the high priestess. So I'm talking to, I could be talking to readers. <laughs> I could be talking to spiritualists, prophets, gurus, okay, seers, empaths, clairvoyants, clairaudience. Okay, people that have the clears, very spiritually inclined, talented, regal individuals, divine beings. You guys can have tattoos. Okay, the number seven could be significant. Wow. <clears throat> very spiritually gifted. You guys could be very close to Father God as well are very close to your religious beliefs or your spiritual beliefs, your angels, your ancestors, your spirit guides, okay, what you believe in, your craft. The number two could be significant or the number seven. You guys could have tattoos on your forearms. It could be like you guys could have three tattoos. It could even be writing or numbers or even symbols that are mean meaningful to you. I'm talking to someone that's very blessed. Even people that are like believe in Hinduism or Buddhism. And she has a red dot on her head. <clears throat> mm, very empathic. You hold hidden knowledge. <laughs> You're very, very strong, very powerful energy. You come out as the first card of the high priestess. Yeah. You're also very empathic. You trust in your intuition and you let it guide you along your ways. The color red could be significant. That could be your favorite color or red is just significant to you. Yeah, Aries. This is also Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. This is also you being able to flow with your communication. You'll also be talking to a Taurus. You have Taurus in your birth chart, okay? With air, with air energy being here, this is your communication being able to flow. This is you being able to communicate with others freely. You may also be able to like communicate telepathically for some of you, or this is you being able to pick up on insight or information or downloads or people's energy without them being able to say anything to you. You just being that intuitive, that empathic. You may read energy very, very well. Yeah, with the Ace of Cups coming out, this is self-love, okay? You could be a musician. Music could be significant to you, okay? Or this is also new love coming in, new love coming towards you, blessings coming towards you. With Sagittarius energy being here, this is also Sag. So you guys could be talking to a Sagittarius, you could be connecting to a Sagittarius, you could have Sagittarius in your birth chart. This is also action coming around, something could be taking place. Um, and what, what's Taurus month? May? April, May, so something could have transpired in April and May, or something could be happening in December, between the end of December, or, de or I'm sorry, the end of November and December going into that time. Okay, you guys could have been on a, on a path or making certain decisions between those months, between April and May and now, okay, and you could be seeing the fruits of your harvest coming in within like this month, I'm sorry, next month, November, <laughs> next month into your birthday month. I'm seeing here with strength, you guys are able to overcome strife, opposition, 
Okay, you're very strong. I see prayer warriors being here. Okay, you guys get on your hands and knees and pray. People don't understand that behind closed doors, hmm, you give thanks, you give praise, you give back to Father God. Okay, you give God the glory and praise. I see that. I'm also seeing here 1111. <clears throat> That's on his hoodie. 111 could be significant as well. 1111 is also significant. And also the number eight. These could be dates, birth dates, the number eight, the number two, the number 11. Anything else for Sagittarius? Yeah, this is your communication flowing and people being attracted to you because you're embodying self-love, because you're loving yourself, you're giving back to you truly and authentically, with that air energy, it's like you're cutting past BS. It's like you're not taking any type of nonsense. And with the high priestess being here, this is literally you letting your intuition guide you in the right direction. Oh my goodness, I had a feeling that this was, oh, I had a feeling that I was gonna see this card for y'all with the six of wands. <laughs> I saw the seven of wands and I was thinking to myself, I should have said it. You guys are victors. This is blessings, this is rewards, this is accolades. This is you coming out on top, okay? This is you getting your harvest, okay? This is you putting in that hard work and then you actually getting recognized for it. A lot of you guys, you could have been feeling like, you know, like the underdog type of energy I'm picking up on, but you're not. You were never the underdog to Father God, ever. Okay, six, five, four, as I said that, you were never the underdog to Father God. Father God wanted people to count you out. <clears throat> You were also being tested to see if you were going to listen to your intuition, especially in regards to love offers with the Ace of Cups that was coming in. With the Six of Wands, this is you winning. Okay, this is also like you having a lot of praise, people being inspired by you. And also, you have haters. There's people that are just like coming towards you around because they're following the crowd. So it's really important for you to know like who you're connecting to at this time. Yeah, it's also important for you to rest with the Four of Swords. You could be healing from something, okay? For some of you guys, they go that Ace of Cups again. Oh my goodness, this is confirmation, okay? This is nothing but self-love. This is new love, new opportunities coming in that, that you're going to love, okay? If it's in regards to work, you're about to get into a career that you are going to immensely love to do, okay? And that's going to that's gonna make you the money that you love, okay? You understand? <laughs> With the Ace of Cups, this is God granting you something that you guys have been praying about and waiting on, and it's love. Okay, for some of you guys, you are embodying love. So now it's time for you to get that same energy that you have been giving out. That's just, it is what it is. Like with the Ace of Cups, this is double confirmation for you. This is double confirmation, Sagittarius. With the Four of Swords, you guys are healing, resting, rejuvenating your energy. You guys can even be napping more. Okay, for some of you, I could be talking to someone that has undergone a surgery and you're healing from that. It's going to be a positive healing journey for you. With the Four of Swords, this is you also needing to not overthink things that's coming in. Okay, there's new opportunities that are coming in. Don't overthink things, right? Because you're being divinely guided with the Six of Swords. You have your angels and ancestors that are guiding you in the right direction. It's all about you trusting it and you taking action. Okay, this is also like a new pathway being presented for you. It's something new that you're doing that you may not like have all the answers to or you may have to study or you could even be like a little fearful because it's a new path. It's something new. This could be a new endeavor that your intuition is telling you just to do. Or this could be to go somewhere new and it's like you could be fearful because you could be having to do it by yourself, but you're never alone. With the Six of Swords, you're being divinely guided. 909, as I said that on the timer, that angel number could be significant. This is you about, yeah. I keep saying Sagittarius and I'm talking to y'all and y'all are Aries. Aries, Aries, Aries. <laughs> Something is happening in December for y'all. Aries. Aries. <laughs> I'm so Aries. Your energy is fiery, okay? This could be like sex appeal off the yin-yang for y'all. I'm just being honest. Y'all could be coming off as very, very fiery, very attractive, okay? It's like you know what you want, very passionate, okay? You guys could even be like coming in contact with people that could be, you know, misinterpreting your energy. 
Be mindful of who you're giving your energy to, Aries. Oh, what's the four swords for Aries? <laughs> yeah, this is opportunities coming in for you. With the Ace of Pentacles, this is something new that's coming in. Oh, here we go. So y'all are, are healing from something. There was somebody that is trying to play on your emotions and your feelings. That's coming to an end. With the Page of Cups and the Death card, it could have even been a Scorpio, a water sign, or an earth sign. It's something new that's coming towards you, a new opportunity. This is even you being able to work from home, you being able to work for yourself, or you being able to just do something that's going to put you to the next level, okay? With the Eight of Pentacles being here, this is you being very focused. And there's somebody here that wants to talk to you because something has came to an end. You could have figured out this person. What's this page of cups? You figured, you figured out this person. Yeah, somebody here was coming towards you because they wanted to embark on a new pathway that you are embarking on, Aries. Literally with the Ace of Pentacles and the Ace of Wands, this is newness. Okay, this is complete newness coming towards you guys have been manifesting fulfillment. You guys have been manifesting new opportunities in career and also just you feeling that spark again in your life, feeling that renewal in your life and it's coming in. It's coming towards you. That's it's a lot of wand energy with the king of wands. I'm a, I'm about to clarify the king of wands too because that's y'all. That's y'all in your prime. Well, who's the page of cups? Yeah, somebody was trying to work together with you. This could be an earth sign. Somebody here wanted to collaborate with you. It could have even been a Sagittarius. There go that Sag energy. Okay, the three of pentacles. They wanted to work together in business with you. Okay, so, but it was an argument or fight, some type of drama, or this is somebody that really wanted to compete with you because they really a devil energy. You needed to stay away from this person with the devil card. This is someone that is toxic. Okay, someone that is very karmic. Somebody here wanted to bring you drama and discord to your new starts, to your new beginnings. Okay, to things that you are working on that's going to bring you fulfillment. Somebody here wanted to keep you trapped and captive with them. Oh, man. What's at the top? Yeah, somebody was being completely deceptive in regards to coming towards you with love. They were really manipulating you or trying to manipulate you or trying to get you underneath their energy with this. Mm -mm. No, 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 no. You ended this with the death card. This came to an end. This situation, whatever this was, this project, this collaboration, Aries, you ended it. Your intuition is like, uh, it lets you know. It lets you know. What's the six of swords? Yeah, it lets you know what was going on. Yeah, God lets you know what was going on. Okay, Leo energy, very strong, very courageous. That's the strength card, okay? Literally, that's like strength energy to me. This is like you being guided to a happier place in your life, calmness, fulfillment. This is you getting out of turbulent waters, a very conflicting situation, Aries, and you moving towards peace, towards happier days, towards fulfillment. Yeah, this is what you could even be working on at this time with the Eight of Pentacles. This is what's happening for you. Like I saw y'all. This is what's coming towards you. This is what's happening for you. This is illumination. This is also God guiding you down your divine path where you're supposed to be going towards. And there go that Ace of Cups. Oh, yes, Aries. Literally. Oh, man, you have love coming in. Everything is good. I'm seeing it. Everything is good. Everything is working out for you in, the, in your highest good. Who's, what's the King of Wands about? Yeah, you you took action towards this. You have a lot of options coming in. Look at this. With the pay, it's like you have a lot of options that's coming towards you. It could even be confusion, so you need to be mindful of this. Somebody here could be coming towards you to confuse you, or this is you like really using your discernment about the newness that's coming in. It's a lot of opportunities, but it could also be like lessons. So it, it's about you. You don't want to repeat new lessons. Yeah, it's, it, mm -hmm. I cannot make it up, but I can't make it up with the Wheel of Fortune. Trust your intuition and take your time with things with the Knight of Pentacles. Take your time, especially in regards to this newness coming in, but you have love coming in. You also have lessons with the Wheel of Fortune. There's about to be a faded event that takes place where you're going to need to, to like tap into your intuitive side, your loving side, your empathic side, Queen of Cups. You're going to need that. You're like, literally, what's the wheel of fortune? Yeah, because some, it's, something's going to be difficult. Or there could be people coming towards you to make it very difficult for you to understand who you are and your worth. Okay? But you're the empress. <laughs> so it's like, yeah, there's some type of strife. You're going to be, it's going to be a faded event to see if you're ready 
for this love offer because this is a love of a lifetime coming in. This is double confirmation for you, Aries. But it's so, what's the ten of wands? Something is it's some type of push that somebody or that you're going to be feeling, okay? Because you're a wife, a wife or a husband, okay? This is you needing to know your self worth. This is me, like literally. This is you needing to know who you are to God. What's the Ten of Wands? It's opposition here. Yeah, it's, a, it's some type of friend. This could be like a, a third party, that somebody here that you could have given to before in the past. It could have been like a third party situation. Somebody here is going to come back towards you, and they are a lesson. This is someone that's coming in with illusions, secrets, deception towards you. They want to try to hook up with you, reconcile with you, drink with you. They're going to be saying, oh, everything's all good. Let's go out. Let's have fun. Let's, I want to celebrate you. It's a lie. This is someone that's going through a lot of strife, and they want to make it very difficult for you to stay on your divine path and receive your good karma that's coming towards you. Literally, it's a ten of wands. Somebody here wants you to feel the pressure. They don't want you to, to get to your next chapter or get to your next level or make the right decisions that you are supposed to be making at this time for you, the betterment of you. And your happiness and your life, somebody here wants to confuse you. They want to put like, they want to keep you in the dark. It could be a cancer. What's the what's the Queen of Cups? Yeah, somebody's coming in to deceive you. They're coming in to deceive you. They feel like you're just this loving, empathic, kind, sweethearted individual, and you're just gonna like accept them, and they're just gonna be able to get over on you with the Seven of Swords. This is someone that is very deceptive, a sneak. Ooh, a sneaky slime ball individual. It could be an Aquarius, or this could be a it could be a, a um Aquarius or a Virgo that's trying to come towards you, acting like they love you or acting like they care about you. This could be a friend. Somebody here is like acting like they want to collaborate with you. They want to get to three three is here. A lot of threes. Somebody here could be born in um, March or on the third, or somebody here could be thirty three. With the seven of swords, this is someone that is a sneaky. They have it hidden motives and agendas. They don't want to tell you the truth about why they're trying to enter into your life, Aries, but it's to deceive you, okay? And it's because you are a victor. Somebody here is looking at you as having it all, as winning. You can even be in the public eye, and they want to try to block this from happening. This is you needing to put up healthy boundaries and stay on your ground. You have protection around you, and somebody here wants to block this. They want to stop this. 7-7 seven, seven is here as well. This is a warning, also a confirmation for you. But you're going to come out on top with that six of wands. I see you coming out on top, Aries. I see you coming out on top. Yeah. It's something about you letting go, okay, from a situation. It fell on top of this page of cups. Don't, don't, somebody here is going to try to come in acting like they're loving or acting like they are emotionally kind or caring. They are a liar. They're a liar. OK, with the let, let go car, you need to let this person go. It's unlikely that this person has ever changed or it's unlikely that this person is, is going to give you, you know. Mm, that they're going to be real with you. It's just, yeah, it's time for you to communicate clearly. Really speak out, speak your truth, because you have blessings and opportunities coming in. And this is a windfall. This is money. This is like. Um, emotional fulfillment, emotional happiness, okay, miracles happening in your life. This is you having and getting your way. I hope this resonated with you, Aries. May peace and blessings be to you always. Don't forget to subscribe, like, share, and comment, and I'll be seeing you on the next video.